Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. Today I have the pleasure to show you how you can remove the standard reverb in end track when you create a track, a first time track, whether that is an instrument or whether that is a bit. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Additionally, if you would like to support what I do, please do check the video description on how to do that. Thank you very much. Okay, so this is a question which I get asked many times, so I thought to create a short video to show you that. So let's say that I create a bit like so, normal track, I add um, some kick drums and perhaps also some snares like so. And you can hear there is a reverb for each of the samples. Right, so how do we get rid of that? Well, first of all, if you click here on the track, if you have this closed and you click here on the track, you come up to this view for the drum instrument. You might be thinking to go to the effect, but there is no effect which is currently applied. Okay, so um, you can select each one sample here. But you see three dots here, so you can swipe to the left, like so, to go to the next view, which shows you the sample. And you can hear still that reverb. You see there is another page here, so you can swipe again to the left, and you get to this page. Now, initially, you don't see anything related to reverb here, and you can, you might be tempted to change the ADSR if you can't find it and things like that. In reality, if you click here where it says XY, which is for a UXY pad, click on it and then you have a selection for envelope, tremolo, vibrato, etc. At the bottom you have settings. Click on settings and it changes to these views, to these settings, and here you find the reverb finally, which of course you can turn it off. Let's play now. Okay, you don't hear that reverb any longer, right? So, and that is what we wanted. Now, if you double click here on the um, drum bit, you can click here on the symbol of the waveform, select edit, you get these, swipe to the left again, click X, Y, go to settings, and then you can change the reverb. So you can add it back in if you like, for example. Voila. Play. And the same applies to other tracks. So for example, if I remove this track and I create an instrument track, okay, then I select piano key and keys, uh, acoustic piano. Okay, this one, let's try. You hear there is a reverb. So swipe once, twice, then click X, Y settings, and then you have your reverb, which now you can turn off. Okay, so a short tutorial, but um, of course, if you don't know, you might be trying to uh, find where that option is. Um, so it's very simple to, to to change it when you know where it is. Of course, uh, most of the time you find here on XY, so it's not immediate available or visible. I hope you found this useful and as always, see you next time. Bye.